Okay, so this is our continuation of isometric exercises. Um, we're adding a little bit more movement in, but the squeeze and the work is still going to be done in that isometric hold. So um, we're going to be starting with the Z sit, and we're going to be doing five repetitions with a five second pause. Now this five second pause can be incremented if you feel that it's getting too easy. Yeah, so you can stay up there for longer. So remember our Z sit. So with our torso upright, we squeeze on the glutes, activate the quads and push your hips forward here. So you're trying to go knee, hips, shoulders, same line. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then slowly, gently lower down, okay? And you're gonna then come up again. So you repeat that five times, yeah? So five, five second pauses, okay? You can do that holding weights if you wanted to hold weights here as well, that's fine. Then we're going to go into our squats. So for our squats, we're going to take about a shoulder width stance, okay? So shoulder width, toe, toes turned out slightly, and we're going to sink those hips back. I'll do it from the side so you can see. So don't just bow forward. Make sure those hips sit down, and you want to get your butt close to knee line if possible, yeah? Again, the first few may not be. But then as you warm into it, you're going to get better. So this time we're going to do five squats and then we're going to hold the fifth one down for five seconds. Again, that isometric hold can be increased over time to make it harder. But we're going to do it nice and gently. So we're going to do one, two. And make sure you don't lock those knees when you get to the top, yeah? Three. Four. Now on the fifth one, we go down and we hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and now we're going to do five more squats. And we basically go until we've done 25 squats in total. So there's going to be five five second pauses again. But we've introduced some very slow push um, squats here. So to make sure that you're not spiking that heart rate. I know Kat coming in, he heard the camera was on, so yeah. That's for our legs, now we're going to our upper body. So you can either do this standing, or you can do it kneeling as we have before. Seeing as we're already on our feet, we could do it from standing here. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is, we were just doing our squeezes, and then relax. Squeezes, and then relax for an X amount of time. Um, now if you've, altered that already, that's cool because that's what we're going to be doing now. So what we're going to be doing is starting with our palms in and we're going to supinate and we're going to come up so that our hands are level with our elbows. So a bicep curl with those palms up. And then from there, we're going to squeeze at about 75%, 50 to 75% power. Don't go all in, yeah, just about 75. And just hold it there for five, four, three, two, one, release the grip and then bring those arms down. And again, your hands should just naturally fall off of your shoulders, yeah? And then fix the elbows, curl up. Five, four, three, two, one. Release and down, okay? So that is your isometric hold for the biceps here, okay? Now we're going to go into our slightly more movement. So we're going to go into those tricep kickbacks. From here, you just need to lean forward slightly. Now you can see if my arms just hang off of my shoulders, see where they are? As long as I take them back to where they're in line with my body, now my triceps are fired up. That's all you need to do. A lot of people try to come up too much. Um, if you've got the mobility in your shoulders, that's fine. But just try to squeeze your shoulder blades back behind. And then from here, we're just going to drop. So we're just releasing the tricep. We're not actually trying to do another bicep curl. Just release those triceps. So you can see now, my forearm is running vertical. And then from here, I'm just gonna squeeze it back. And down. Two. And down. Three. And just this angle is enough. You can feel those triceps firing up. From behind, remember, not to go out to the side. Try to come behind you, yeah? And on the fifth one, we come up and we hold. Five, four, three, two, 
one, release, and then we go again, five, four, three, so on, so on, until we get to the five, squeeze, 25 repetitions again, okay? So that's basically the continuation, so this is our second week, seeing as we did well on the first week, so enjoy, okay?